Hello Sagittarius, thank you for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using Tarot Illuminati by Eric C. Dunn. Supportive Oracle Cards, Chakra Wisdom Oracle Cards by Tori Hartman, illustrated by Gretchen Raish Baskin. I'm trying the last name there. But the spellings are there, that way if you'd like to find them, you can find them. Sagittarius. Okay. Are we going to like this? <laughs> okay. We'll see. I don't know where we're going with this. we got to get into it first. There's one more card that wants to push out. Just one? Yeah. Okay. What starts it all off? <sighs> History. Six. Okay. Somebody's bringing up something from the past. Somebody's bringing up something from the past. It's the first thing I'm getting. When they're doing that, you got gossip with perception. Now, you might know the actual story or a different version, one of the two. And somebody's saying, well, from what I hear, blah, 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 blah. It's one of those things. Um, and you're like, well, actually, actually, this is what I've experienced with that. Stick to your guns, whatever that means. Like, if somebody's telling you a story, I'm getting the gossip with perception is like, somebody might already have their own feelings about a person, left, right, or indifferent, whatever it is. I feel like it's negative, quite frankly. Um, I'm trying not to go there, but it feels like that's what it is. Like, they're saying, oh, this person, you know how they are, blah, 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 and I'm sure this is why they did that. And you're kind of like, well, actually, I know that person a little better. And the reason they did that was because this person they care about needed that, so they took that for that reason. Because somebody they loved needed that for this event. That's why they did that. They didn't do that to screw somebody else over. And I feel like you might have to... When I feel this card on your side, the enlightenment, I don't know if it's for you or for the person you're talking to. Kind of like, you know what, I know you don't like that person, but that was not their motivation. They did this for their son, their daughter, their mother, their friend, whatever. That's why they did that, because that person needed this, so that's why they did that. They didn't do that out of maliciousness. They didn't do that with malice. There we go. Maliciousness? I don't even think that's a word. But anyway, you're just, I feel like you might be, I think it's more about you enlightening somebody else. Like, listen, that's really not how that went down. That's just not. Um, I understand you don't like them, but that's not really what happened. This seems to be setting the stage. <laughs> setting the stage for the whole thing. Because I'm getting more situations are coming forward. you got a lot going on. Shock. Sagittarian that's busy? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Spinning three plates with one hand? Sagittarius? Are you really? Sorry. <laughs> it just seems like you guys are always on the go. I think it's very rare that a Sagittarius isn't on the go. Uh, but let me know in the comments below if I'm wrong, of course. Um... A lot going on, workaholic, but with the two of pentacles, it's like, are you noticing it again? Or is it somebody, the same person who you enlightened once, I feel like they're coming forward to you and they're like, are they, what are they doing? Okay, so they got this. You got a lot going on. You got to make a decision. They're bringing forward the world with expansion, but I'm noticing this one person over here. Um, they're kind of like, I don't know what to do with this. Like, as if you weren't busy enough. It's like they're coming forward with something like, I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this. And you're kind of like, oh, um, I got a lot going on, but you could do that. Can you help me with this? You want it? And you're like, no. <laughs> I'm getting that immediately. Like, no. No, I don't. Um, no. Do you take this anyway? I hope not. Because you don't want it, but do you take it anyway? It's a catch-22 with Sagittarius. I feel like when you all get more advanced, like you're one of those signs, when you get more into your energy and you get more mature in your energy, you, 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 you're like, no. <laughs> you're like, no, I'm not going to do that. You say no. In the, in a younger, less mature energy kind of gives in. But over, like, because life gets, after a while, you just, you're just like, I can't do that. I can't keep running myself into the ground like this anymore. And you stop. 
it seems to be a, a, the advancement of Sagittarius, something like that. Um, so hopefully you're saying no. If you said yes to that, I feel like if you did say yes to that, the universe is saying you don't need to be saying yes to all that stuff. And part of the lessons of those situations are for you to say no. You should be saying no. If you, if you don't want it, say no. Say no. <laughs> for those of you who did, that's where this energy is supposed to go. Like you're supposed to get to that point where you're like, uh, no, and I'm not going to, no. There's a lot coming in here. Um, Ace of Cups, Hanged Man, Eight of Pentacles. Whatever this person wants you to take, they're not letting go of it completely anyway. So I feel like even if you do take it on, you really shouldn't. But if you did, I feel like it's going to be a tug of war. And I feel like you're going to be like, listen, how about you just do it? Because you you seem to be still doing it anyway. <laughs> you might get mad and snap at them. Because kind of like, you ask me to do it, and then you keep pulling me all over the place with it. Just here, take it, do it. Uh, it might really get on your nerves. Kind of like, don't ask me to do something and then play this pull, pull push-pull game. No, that's BS. Um, so even if you do take it, you won't keep it. So there's that. That's kind of a positive. But the universe is also saying you should have said no anyway. <laughs> you didn't want it, you should have said no. Okay. Ace of Cups. With the Hanged Man. There's a problem with this person. It's the same person. This is why we're setting the stage. Um, there's something weird with them trying to figure out ways to manipulate a situation. You do tend to like this person is what I get, but you seem to be the longer you know them, the harder it is to deal with them. And you don't want to see them in a negative light, but they're starting to be a pain in the ass. I understand that keep, things keep coming. This doesn't seem to be shutting down the situation totally, but I'm also noticing this in the environment. Isolation with recovery. And I'm getting the same person, like this that dark-haired person on this card, the blue one, and, and the purple card, the same person is showing up. They're looking for opportunities to make things better for themselves. There might be more of a manipulative energy here than you're aware of. This might be one of those moments where somebody maybe isn't as good of a person as you'd like to believe they are. Sometimes that's hard. Um, everybody goes through that lesson in life, don't we? Sometimes we think better of somebody than we actually should. And I think this might be one of those instances. The thing is, I don't think they're getting the better of you in this situation. Because again, even if you take it on, they pull that, do that push-pull thing, and you're like, listen, just you do it then, if you're going to be like that. Just you do it. Um, <laughs> you might just snap at them, like, fine, then you do it, because I'm not playing push-pull with you. Um, I'm getting, like, really aggravated with that, too. Compl complacency? Complacency with the Three of Swords. They didn't get what they wanted from you this time. And they're upset about it. Ironically... They should not be getting the better of you anyway. If they're really a connection for you that's positive, they shouldn't be trying to do that. But they're upset because they weren't able to. Notice that energy. Really notice that energy. and Really soak that in and realize this person is like that. This is not okay. This is not good. The sooner you accept this person for how they are, the better you could handle it going forward. I almost feel like this is also a Sagittarius thing, but again, let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. If someone is a friend or you consider them an ally, you tend to have a need to bend over backwards for these people. If you realize this person isn't an ally, not really, it's easier for you to not do that. It just makes it a lot easier. Like, oh, that person's not going to try to help me or that person's trying to use me anyway. I'm not going to bend over backwards for them. Getting the better look at people, too. You got dissipating here. And you got the Two of Cups, which... <sighs> the dissipating with the Two of Cups. Okay, okay, okay. I, I like it better that way. I get it. You really like this person, but if you really see who they are, that's going to fade away. This good connection, if you really look at it closely, it's maybe not as good as you were hoping it was. This is improving your life because you're seeing somebody for who they are, not for who you want them to be. That's hard. We all go through that. And I'm getting you have success in the moon, and there's a card I'm hiding behind it. 
you're going to have a grieving period with this. It's literally the grief card. There's going to be a grieving period. Um, the two of these cards are telling me this person will probably over time leave your life. But this person is not up to your standards. They are not really for you. They're for themselves. They're not as... Like if it's a friendship or whatever connection, co-worker, whatever it is, you are honestly there for them and you want to help them honestly. You're just, you don't want to take any more than you give. They help you, you help them. One hand washes the other. That's not how it is for them. It's kind of like you wash my hands and leave me alone. <laughs> you give to me and I'll call you when I need you. That's who they are. You got better things coming for you. The success here is you moving on from this lesson you successfully completing this and saying, hey, this doesn't have to come to a really knock down, drag out fight. I just need to see you for who you are and let it just slowly dissipate. It doesn't become a big blow up. It's just kind of like, oh, now that I see you, I don't like that. That's not who I thought you were. And it just kind of goes its own way quietly. Especially if this person doesn't seem to want to be around you as much if they can't use you. So they just kind of quietly move on anyway. There is a grieving process to this because this is upsetting. This isn't like an ideal outcome for this person. But this is you passing the test and moving on from this energy and hopefully not repeating it as much in the future. We all repeat it to some degree. I just feel like as long as we're alive, we'll, we'll always find people that we kind of trust more than we should. And we learn and it's just how long we allow those people to stay in our lives. And as we keep going forward, the, the sooner we recognize it, the sooner we step away from it. That's what I think with that, just to be fair. All right, I hope that helps. I'm going to shut this down here. If you take a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james4astral at gmail.com. Thank you.